Blood Apologetics. Get your Bibles, your cup of tea or coffee, and we'll have a look at today's word, which is still on the theme of new birth and about your foundation. I'm reading from Matthew 7 verse 24 in the New King James Version. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them would be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. So we can see there that Jesus is talking about two foundations. He is the first foundation, he is the rock, vital to build on rock. Because if you're building on sand, the sea will sweep it away, it will change it in no time at all, it will just fall apart. Like when you see when you go to the seaside as a kid, you'll met sand castles and you'll see how quickly they're demolished. It could be with the wind, just a bit of a wave will demolish it in no time at all. If you build your foundation on the rock, the rock that is Jesus Christ, you will still have the same storms, you still have the same problems that everyone else in the world faces, you will overcome because He's your rock. It's not your own works and your own abilities and your own righteousness that can save you. It's his righteousness. He's the rock. He's Lord of all or not at all. So you must make him your foundation. And as you remember, I was speaking not long ago about new birth, that you must be born again. And uh, this is a new birth to build on the rock. Repent of your sin. Put away your own selfishness, your own way of living or trying to live on your own efforts and your own strength and putting your trust in the rock that is Christ. He he came and lived and died for you, for your sins and for your righteousness. He is your righteousness and so you should live in him and allow him to work through you and work and do work in you that needs to be done. The Apostle Paul tells us that we should be careful on, on what we lay on top of that foundation. He, just, he establishes that the foundation is Christ, but he says to be careful of how, what you lay on top of that foundation, because like, like paper and hay, stubble, other things, they will all vanish away with the wind and everything else that life throws at it. But if you establish, he says no other foundation can any man lay other than Jesus Christ. He he became his foundation because Paul was a man that was steeped in the law and legalism and all the religious law as a Pharisee until he met Jesus on that Damascus road and he put all that aside. He used his knowledge and his understanding of the scripture but he used it to proclaim Christ and to show that Jesus was the, the one prophesied in the Old Testament, the law and the prophets, and and showed that Jesus is the Christ that they were looking for, the Messiah that they had crucified, was the one they needed to build as their foundation. Make Jesus your rock today. Just pray a simple prayer of repentance of your sin. Put away your own strength and try and do things in your own strength. And, and trust in Jesus Christ. He is the righteous who paid the price for your sin. The price you should be dying for. He, should, he paid the price. Unless you give your life into his hands, you will perish. That's what the Bible says. And for it's not God's desire that anyone perish. And you must know him personally. Religion won't save you. Your, all your good works won't save you. It's only what you did with Jesus, whether you accepted him as your Lord and your Saviour or whether you didn't. So that's the foundation. 
you must have that firm foundation of Jesus Christ in your life. It's such a blessing to have. It's such a great thing to have, knowing that you, whatever you do, it doesn't, it doesn't depend on your works. It depends on your relationship with him and knowing him and living in him and allowing him to lead you by his spirit that you put within you. That's it for today's talk. I will see you again soon and we'll go, we'll go deeper into more of God's truth. Bye-bye.